Thank you, Jonathan. Channel 2's Michael Lepardi continues our live team coverage now. And Michael, you spoke with a medical expert on how the mask mandate could impact the virus surge right here in our Houston area. Dominique, that doctor told me that when you go out, you just now sort of have to assume that anyone you come in contact could possibly be infected. By doing that and using something to cover your face, he says that could make a difference and finally turn these numbers around. With a new order from the governor to cover your face... I think it's a smart move. Dr. James McDevitt says it's not too late to slow the spread of the coronavirus. We really have to take action now, given the growth in the virus. Uh, because we're not going to know what works for another couple of weeks. He's senior vice president and dean of clinical affairs at Baylor College of Medicine. Dr. McDevitt called the recent surge in cases in Texas alarming. It's a very, very significant uh, surge. And if it goes on for an extended period of time, it's going to really start to stress some of our capacity. The pandemic is also keeping Ginger DeLance Bono busy. We staff for anyone that's utilizing healthcare professionals. Her company, ProHealth Medical Staffing, is trying to help providers fill around 200 jobs in the area, more than normal for this time of year. We're seeing, you know, um, caregivers that need to manage COVID patients, and then we need to support the regular census that would happen normally without a pandemic going on. If there's any good news, Dr. McDevitt says healthcare providers are learning how to manage the situation and have the option of pulling in workers from other parts of the country. And while there's a lot of focus on masks tonight, the doctor is also raising some concerns about social distancing as we head into the holiday weekend. He says that you should only celebrate with people who live with you at your home. Reporting live, Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And